Hello, Randy, K7AGE. So are you thinking about getting a BitX40? This video will show you a lot of the resources that are lurking around the internet that you can find more information about the BitX40, um, how to put it together, do mods, troubleshooting, and user community support. So let's take a look. HF Signals is the home page for the BitX20. At the top, it talks about work the world on 40 meters for $59 US. There's a brief technical overview and a section about the hackable aspects, both on hardware and software. And this is a major thing for a lot of people to get this for experimentation. It lists the parts that are in the kit and talks about the manufacturer and the people behind it. On the buy page, it takes you to this, which then has another link that goes off to PayPal, which is where you will order the radio. The wiring up page has a... Um, has, has the board layouts here at the top. It shows the external components that you'll need to wire up and solder, uh, including the wires between the boards, sections for each area that needs to be assembled, as well as alignment instructions, and you'll need a current meter in order to set the final bias. The circuit description page has a schematic for the main board as well as the Radrino uh, digital oscillator board. And there's a link here where you can download the circuit diagrams to make it easier to print out than trying to do it from, from the web page. This is a GitHub page where Farhan has placed the Rodrino uh, BitX40 software. And you can download this all as a zip file, which you can then import into the Arduino IDE if you want to play and look and modify the software. Over 10 years ago, there was a Yahoo BitX20 group formed. Recently, it's been moved to Google. Now, this is the site where people go to to look for information for their BitX40. You can post messages here looking for help. You can download files and photographs. This table shows the activity. There was over 1,600 messages in January. I believe the BitX40 started shipping in October of 2016. There's a lot of information on this site, but you may have to dig a little bit to find it. So selecting the message tab on the left brings you up a listing of all the messages and there's thousands of them in here and they're all grouped by the same uh, subject and there's a search here for you can uh, search for whatever you're looking for and click on the new topic to enter a new message uh, if you're looking for assistance or, or help. Selecting the photos tab brings you up lots of photos of people's work, shows their various um, constructions and modifications, all sorts of stuff to look look through here. And the next area you want to look at is the file area. And there's all sorts of files located in here. And one up here at the top is one that you probably want to look at. It's the doc of, of tips and, and mods. So that's worth taking a look at. The BitX40 Facebook page is the next most popular um, place for for the BitX40 information, uh, people post all sorts of things here. I posted a, a chart of transistor voltage measurements for both receive and transmit. So uh, a lot of the information is in both places, and some are only in one place, the Google group or on here. You can uh, see all the members in the group here, uh, any videos that people have posted through their Facebook account, as well as photos from their postings are all on here as well as files and there's quite a few files on on here as well so the Facebook page you need to be checking this out Ashar Farhan the BitX designer has a um, has a YouTube page and he has a couple of videos including this one that he talks about doing some receiver troubleshooting hi this is a short video to show you how to test the receiver part of the BITX. It applies equally well to the BITX controlled by the radio NOR or any other DDS or by the built-in analog VFO. So uh, this one... This the Miss.Geek is another website that has collected uh, a little bit of BitX40 information. Uh, Ryan kind of, I think, picked some things out of the um, Google and the Facebook and pastes them over here, but it's worth... Uh, you know, putting this in your bookmarks list of uh, BitX40 uh, websites to check out. Bill N2CQR has the Solder Smoke Daily blog page where he posts all sorts of articles about his and other people's homebrewing projects. Bill is an avid homebrewer 
And if you uh, scroll down here and look for the BidX40 tab on the left, you click that, and it'll take you to his collection of BidX40 articles. The podcast is really interesting to listen to. He and Pete Giuliano uh, kibitz a lot about projects. Bill also has a YouTube channel page. Don't be confused by his UK call sign. And Bill's posted several videos here about his BidX and BidX40 uh, projects. If you just search in YouTube for BidX40, you'll find all sorts of videos posted. And there's uh, the ones that just happened to come up when I made this video. The first one there is from Peter, VK3YE from Australia. He's done quite a few. Uh, well, there's one of mine going by. Uh, Ashar, um, W5KUB. There's a lot of a lot of videos to watch. Pete Giuliano and 6QW's Bill Mayer's Solder Smoke Sidekick. And Pete is uh, also a very avid home builder. And he has this blog of BidX hacks and things. And he says you'll find a lot of a lot of useful tribal knowledge on this page. So a lot of things here to look at, as well as his BidX40 project page as built by N6QW with all sorts of good resources on here. So he's got a lot of uh, uh, good information here about the, the building project and how to get yourself organized. And you can see the examples of his work. And down here at the bottom, he has uh, eight phases of building your, your BidX40. So well worth checking out. And Pete also has a YouTube channel. So when you go to his homepage, you hear him, uh, hear him playing a little bit. And he's got an awful lot of videos here. Uh, and a lot of these have to deal with the BidX and the BidX40. So you could spend uh, many hours going through Pete's YouTube channel. Well worth it. Peter, VK3YE from Australia, is another avid home builder and QRP operator. You'll typically see him operating from the uh, from the edge of the Pacific Ocean. He has uh, quite a few videos uh, about the BidX40, uh, operating, modifying, a little bit of repair, and uh, a lot of good stuff on Peter's YouTube channel to check out. Saying I can ask this cat any question. The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. Come. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. So thank you, Tom, for your opening. <laughs> That's pretty good. Tom, W5KUB, does a lot of video streaming. Uh, he has a weekly Tuesday night show as well as from Dayton and Huntsville and other ham fest. Um, Tom is... Uh, Got hooked onto the BX40. He's done several videos. He, he's even had Farhan on his Tuesday night show. So uh, well worth watching that episode to learn a lot of the um, behind the scenes in the history of the of the BidX and the BidX40. And Tom has a Facebook page where he posts a lot of things about his uh, Tuesday night show as well as his BidX40 activities that he's been working on. And... Uh, see a shot here in a second of his workbench with both the digital VFO and the analog VFO version of the BidX40. And he's had some uh, power output problems with his digital radio, and uh, he's recently solved it. So dig into his site to find out what he did. Eric, 4Z1UG, has the QSO Today Amateur Radio Podcast. These are interview-style podcasts where Eric interviews all sorts of ham radio operators. I've selected the BitX um, uh, category here, and at the top was uh, an interview show with Han Summer, another QRP designer, as well as uh, an episode with Farhan. Again, um, well worth listening to. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG. Here to tell you about something that came in the mail while I was working on this week's video on DXing. So Dave's received what his BidX40, and I'm sure he's going to have several videos media. about his experience with putting it together. Single sideband QRP uh, transceiver. So this brings me to the end of this video. This is about all the uh, resource sites that I've been able to find for the BidX40. If you know of any others, please leave a comment below. 
and I'll take a look and maybe come out with a part two video. So anyway, thanks for watching. This is Randy K7AGE.